Welcome to a new video where we delve into the world of YouTube. Today we're going on a journey. A journey that I embarked on some time ago when I started my YouTube channel. As we navigate through this journey, I'll share with you 10 things I wish I knew when I first ventured into the realm of YouTube. These nuggets of wisdom, learned through trial and error, are designed to make your voyage a little smoother, a little less fraught with the unknown. We'll explore everything from understanding your audience, the significance of consistency, the balance between quality and quantity, and the magic of SEO, to the power of collaboration and the importance of engaging thumbnails and titles. And of course, we'll delve into the wonders of analytics and the virtue of patience. It's going to be an enlightening journey, so stay tuned. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you find this video helpful. First and foremost, understanding your audience is vital. This is the backbone of your YouTube journey, the compass guiding your content creation and marketing strategies. Imagine you're a chef preparing a meal. You wouldn't blindly toss ingredients into a pot, right? You'd want to know what your diners enjoy, their dietary restrictions, their flavor preferences. The same concept applies to YouTube. Your audience is your diner, and your content, that's the meal you're serving. Let's delve a little deeper. Age, location, interest, the time they're most active. These are the demographic details that shape your audience profile. This information is not just data, but a treasure trove of insights that can help you tailor your content to meet their needs, their preferences, their behaviors. Are they night owls or early birds? This could determine your video upload schedule. Do they prefer short, snappy content or long, detailed discussions? This can guide your video length and structure. Are they into humor or do they lean towards serious, informative content? This can influence your tone and presentation style. Understanding your audience is like reading a map. It helps you navigate the vast, diverse landscape of YouTube, directing your journey to ensure you're always on the right path. It's about more than just knowing who they are. It's about understanding what they want and how you can deliver it. So. Knowing your audience is the first key to successful YouTube content creation. Secondly, consistency is the key. Yes, you heard it right. Consistency, my friends, is what makes or breaks a channel. It's the lifeblood of your YouTube journey. Now, I'm not just talking about uploading videos once in a blue moon. No, it's about a regular, predictable schedule that your viewers can count on. Think of your favorite TV show. It has a specific airing time, right? You tune in week after week because you know exactly when a new episode will be on. The same principle applies to your YouTube channel. Regular content creation and sticking to a posting schedule not only helps to build an audience but also improves YouTube's algorithm ranking. Yes, the mysterious, all-powerful algorithm. It favors channels that regularly engage viewers with fresh content, so feed it well and it'll reward you in kind. Always remember, being consistent can help you win half the battle. Moving on, remember that quality always takes precedence over quantity. It's an adage that rings true, especially on YouTube. You might be tempted to pump out video after video, hoping that the sheer volume will attract viewers, but that's a trap. YouTube isn't a numbers game, it's a value game. Think about it, when you click on a video, you're investing your time and time is valuable. If a viewer feels that their time was well spent, they're more likely to return and even better, they're more likely to share your content. That's the power of quality. A single high-quality video can do more for your channel than a hundred mediocre ones. Quality content is attractive. It's like a magnet that pulls viewers in and keeps them coming back for more. It's the kind of content that makes people say, wow, I learned something new today, or that was really entertaining. It's the kind of content that leaves a lasting impression. Furthermore, quality content increases audience retention. If a viewer watches your video and enjoys it, they're likely to stick around for the next one. But if they click away because the content was subpar, you've lost them, perhaps forever. So always prioritize quality over quantity when creating YouTube content. Remember, it's better to produce one exceptional video that leaves a lasting impression than to churn out numerous forgettable ones. Another critical element I wish I knew when I started is SEO. Now you might be thinking, what's this SEO? Well, SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. It's the magic wand that can make your video appear in search results, not just on YouTube, but also on Google and other search engines. Imagine you've made an amazing video, but nobody can find it. That's like hiding your light under a bushel. SEO helps you shine that light for all to see. 
It's all about using the right keywords in your title, description, and tags. These keywords are what people type into the search bar when they're looking for content like yours. Think about what your video is about. What words would someone use to search for it? Those are your keywords. Incorporate them naturally. Don't just stuff them in. Remember, you're writing for people, not robots, so don't ignore SEO. It's what helps your content get discovered. Next, let's discuss the power of collaboration. Collaborating with other YouTubers is like opening a door to a whole new world of opportunities. It's a brilliant way to not only share ideas and learn from others, but also to increase your visibility and subscriber count. Imagine this. You're a travel vlogger and you collaborate with a food vlogger. Together you create a travel and taste series. This not only diversifies your content, but also gives you access to the food vlogger's audience and vice versa. It's a win-win situation. Collaborations often create a sense of community where your viewers feel a part of something bigger, something more engaging. They get introduced to different perspectives and styles, which keeps your content fresh and exciting. So don't shy away from collaborations. They can provide a significant boost to your channel. Remember, YouTube is not a solitary journey. It thrives on community and collaboration. Now on to thumbnails and titles. They're more important than you might think. Imagine you're walking down an aisle packed with books. What makes you stop and pick one up? The cover and title, right? That's exactly how viewers approach videos on YouTube. Your thumbnail and title are essentially the book cover of your video. They're your first and sometimes only chance to persuade viewers to click on your content rather than the thousands of others available. A compelling thumbnail works like a billboard advertisement. It should be eye-catching, intriguing, and a visual summary of what your video is about. And it's not just about making it colorful or flashy, it's about creating a visual prompt that tells a story, sparks curiosity, or promises value. Meanwhile, your title plays an equally crucial role. It's not just a label, it's a headline. It should be clear, concise, and compelling. It should tell viewers what they can expect from the video while also enticing them to click. A well-crafted title can increase your video's click-through rate dramatically. But remember, while it's important to attract clicks, it's equally important to deliver on your promises. Your thumbnail and title should accurately represent the content of your video. Misleading viewers might get you a click, but it won't win you a loyal audience. So invest time in crafting persuasive thumbnails and titles. They can make the difference between your video being watched or being scrolled past. Never underestimate the power of an attractive thumbnail and a catchy title. Engaging with your audience is another important aspect. You may wonder why, and the answer is simple. It's all about building a community. Imagine going to a party where the host doesn't interact with you. You'd feel left out, right? The same principle applies to your YouTube channel. Your viewers want to feel connected to you. They want to know that their thoughts and opinions matter. They want to be part of your journey. So, how do you build this connection? Start by interacting with your viewers through comments. Respond to them, ask them questions, show appreciation for their feedback. This interaction not only makes them feel valued, but it also encourages them to continue watching your content and engage further. But don't limit yourself to YouTube comments. Reach out through social media platforms as well. Share behind-the-scenes snapshots or updates about upcoming videos. This gives your audience a feeling of being part of your inner circle, which increases their loyalty towards your channel. Another great way to engage is through live chats. This allows for real-time interaction, making your viewers feel even more connected. You can answer their questions, discuss their ideas, or simply have a casual chat. It's like inviting them into your living room for a friendly conversation. Engagement is not a one-time thing. It's a continuous process that helps build a community around your channel. It increases viewer loyalty, turning casual viewers into dedicated fans. Remember, interaction can turn viewers into loyal fans. Next, let's talk about analytics. Now, this might sound a bit technical, but trust me, it's not as complicated as it seems. YouTube's built-in analytics tool is your secret weapon. It's like having a crystal ball that can tell you exactly what's working and what's not. Think of it this way, you're on a journey. The destination is your ultimate goal, let's say a certain number of subscribers or views. Now, would you start this journey without a map or compass? Of course not. That's where analytics come in. They're your map, your compass, your GPS. So what does this map show you? It gives you insights into your viewer's behavior. 
You can see which videos are most popular, how long people watch them, where your viewers are coming from, even what time they're most active. This data is invaluable. It tells you what your audience likes, what they don't, and when they want to see it. Imagine you've been making videos about cooking, but your analytics show that your viewers are really engaged with your baking videos. This is a clear signal. Your audience wants more of that sweet, sugary content, so give it to them. In essence, analytics guide your content creation. They help you understand what works, so you can do more of it, and identify what doesn't, so you can improve or change direction. So, don't ignore your analytics. They're a treasure trove of useful information. Finally, remember, success on YouTube doesn't happen overnight. It's a journey, not a sprint. You see, success is a slow cook, not a microwave dinner. It's a process that requires patience and perseverance. There's a saying, Rome wasn't built in a day. It means that great things aren't accomplished instantly. They take time, they take effort, and they take patience. This is just as true for building a successful YouTube channel. You won't wake up one morning to find you've suddenly gained a million subscribers. It's a gradual climb, not a sudden leap. Each video you create, each comment you respond to, each subscriber you gain, they all add up. They're all bricks in the wall of your YouTube success. And laying each brick takes time, it takes persistence, it takes patience. You know, patience isn't just about waiting, it's about how you act while you're waiting. It's about staying focused on your goals even when progress seems slow. It's about not getting discouraged when things don't go as planned. It's about understanding that setbacks are a part of the journey, not the end of it. So if you're feeling disheartened because your channel isn't growing as fast as you'd like, remember this. The tallest oak in the forest was once just a little nut that held its ground. So keep creating, keep posting, and most importantly, keep being patient. And there you have it. 10 things I wish I knew when I started YouTube. We began our journey with understanding your audience, a crucial aspect of crafting content that resonates. Then we moved on to the importance of consistency because nothing builds a loyal following like regular reliable content. We also touched on the significance of emphasizing quality over quantity. A few well-made videos can have a far greater impact than a multitude of mediocre ones. SEO or search engine optimization was our next stop underlining the role it plays in increasing your channel's visibility. We then explored the power of collaboration and how it can open doors to new audiences. Then came the often underplayed yet incredibly crucial role of thumbnails and titles. These are the first things your potential viewers see and making them engaging can be the difference between a click and a pass. We also discussed the need to engage with your audience, creating a sense of community that encourages viewers to return. Alongside this, we delved into the world of analytics, a treasure trove of data that can guide your content creation strategy. And finally, we concluded with the simple yet profound truth that patience is a virtue. Success on YouTube doesn't come overnight and it's important to stay the course even when things seem slow. Remember, every YouTuber's journey is unique and these insights can help make yours a little smoother. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.